Two female soldiers have completed the Army's Ranger School, a grueling test of mind and body. Only the toughest survive. David Martin now with the women who made history. This is a little of what it took for Captain Chris Grice to become one of the first two women to make it through Ranger School. First Lieutenant Shea Haver is the other to survive the 62-day course, which subjects soldiers to nearly constant physical and mental stress on little food and less sleep. Ranger School is the make or break proving ground for the Army's combat leaders, and it breaks more than it makes. 19 women started the course, only Greist and Haver made it to the end. 380 men started, only 94 finished. The Army refused to officially identify either woman, in part to shield them from snarky comments which began popping up on social media. Some don't bear repeating, but cracks like, what standards were lowered, did they only have to do one pull-up, were typical. Despite the Army's attempt to protect the two West Point graduates from publicity, their friends could not help bragging on them. The Army insists the women had to meet the same standards as the men. And in the brief glimpses the media was allowed of the training, there was no sign of going easier on females. When they graduate on Friday, both men and women will receive the coveted Ranger tab. But unlike the men, Greist and Haver will still not be eligible to serve in elite Ranger regiments or other ground combat units. That might not make any difference to Haver, who is already an Apache helicopter pilot. Grice belongs to a military police unit. The debate over women in combat is not over yet, but these two young women have broken one of the toughest gender barriers in the military, and it seems only a matter of time before the remaining barriers come down. Terrence Pop here. I'm going to answer a question that I've received many times. In regards to Ranger School and all of these women that have graduated from the course, I'm just going to be honest. Ranger School, for me, was the hardest school I had ever attended in my life in regards to grueling. Back when I did Ranger School, somewhere in early 1990, uh, you, you could find me on you know, my picture, uh, if you go down to the lower right, I'm the concentration camp victim. And I went from 168 pounds, I was shredded, probably had 5% body fat, to 136 and just fucking wrecked. All right. I was an alpha company all the way through and those, those guys were sadists. And they just went way beyond any reasonable standard that should have been followed um, for there to be any any quality learning from it. It was just, in my opinion, a lesson in how to deal with mental and physical fucking punishment. Looking back on this, you know, how physically demanding it was and how psychologically fucking crushing it was. You know, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around these women that are graduating Ranger School. Now, am I going to tell you that it's impossible? No, but I find it highly improbable, especially that 38 year old woman, mother of two that made it through Ranger School. Fuck no, that is absolute bullshit unless they are watering down the standards to the school to the point where it's just it's it's just gonna become like a worthless fucking school you go through to punch your ticket like airborne school is today because back in the 50s and early 60s airborne school was a fucking ass kicker and it made you mentally and physically tough to become a paratrooper taught you the skills of jumping out of a bird and when you went to your fucking unit as a paratrooper back in the day you were you were a force to be reckoned with and apparently that's what they're doing uh in ranger school to with the standards today now i have not been sent anything you know in hard copy in regards to this or i would have written an article and i would have dropped the fucking to dime myself and i would have sent it to the media but i have been contacted from our eyes that uh were in i believe ranger school for the first uh, one or two women that graduated and then i was contacted by another ri 
who has since retired, who was there for the 38 year old woman. And, and all of them have told me there was absolute bullshit. Their hands were held through the entire fucking thing. A couple of them were allowed to recycle every fucking phase. You know, one of them was allowed to recycle day one recycle to start over, which is almost unheard of. I believe I know two guys in my entire military career that had a day one recycle and made it. You know, I hope that there are some guys out there that actually watch my show that actually have any hard evidence on this. Uh, because I, I will fucking, I will drop the IG bomb. I will fucking write up whatever it is and send it to the media. And the active duty fucking people can chase me all they fucking want. I'm retired. Fuck them. If a woman wants to be an infantry fucking grunt, guess what? You better be able to fucking run the fucking required distance in the, in the fucking required amount of time. You better be able to carry your 12 miles in three hours or less and fucking deal with all the weapons that you have to deal with without any undue whining and complaining and certainly no fucking quitting. I mean, my course was 78 days long. That's just the standard ranger school course. Their course was 47 to 58 days long. I was also reading another article in regards to... Um, a senator that was requesting these same green books from these female rangers that graduated ranger school and they basically said Fuck you we don't work for you we work for the you know the president imagine that they they keep files on all these rangers going back to 1950 but these females who graduated ranger school so i'm told their records are gone how am i supposed to fucking take that i don't know and another thing that was told to me that these women were allowed to go back to the rear to take a shower and do personal hygiene uh, every third day for like, you know, I believe they were gone between two and six hours. All right, so you're going through the hell of ranger school, which is designed to be a long, grueling process to wear you the fuck down and then see if you can fucking make it to the end. When you're in the field, there's no showers. Maybe you get to fucking, you know, sponge off your fucking pits and your ass once every blue moon when you're on the water detail to go down to the river to get some fucking water for the patrol. But other than that, that's it. There is no fucking break. Hell, there's uh, there's hardly any fucking sleep. I mean, God I mean, I don't want to be that guy who was like, you know, back in the day when it was hard, you know, because I talked to guys who went to ranger school during Vietnam, and I, I talked to guys who went to ranger school during the Korean War, and, you know, what they went through was, uh, you know, probably a good 30 to 40% more difficult than the shit I went through. Uh, just, you know, comparing, you know, apples to oranges. But, uh, you know... I mean, my course was 78 days long. That's just the standard ranger school course. Their course was 47 to 58 days long. So my course, though, I, I believe it was a little easier. I had an, an additional 20 some odd days stacked on top of that. That's before the recycle and the, and the gulag time and the tw and 21 days of free ranger that the regiment sent me through, which in and itself was a hell that, uh, that just sucked there was absolutely no learning value in, in the pre-ranger i went to when the regiment sent me it was it was just a beat down session to get me ready for the beat down session of ranger school if you were to ask me on a scale of one to 100 the percentile chance that these women legitimately made it through the fucking school i would cap out at three percent so three percent they made it honestly 97 percent they didn't Okay, so you guys can call me whatever you want. That's fine. Uh, I'm just telling you from my perspective, when I went through ranger school, how fucking hard and bullshit and fucking tough it was for me. And uh, I just find it hard to believe, especially a 38-year-old woman, mother of fucking two, making it through ranger school at the standard level that I went through it. I'm just going to put it there. That's, I don't fucking buy it.
that's just me. The way the, the army's going, it's disgusting me. Uh, they're cheapening the standards and it's only gonna cost lives in the future, especially if we come into an actual shooting war against a worthy adversary that has similar technology and military forces us. Um, it's, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be fucking bad. And uh, we have nobody to blame but ourselves.